everyone, how are you? Welcome back, I'm Julie, and today I wanted to tell you about one of my most beloved cosmetic lines of all time, and that's saying something for being in my profession and an old hag like I What I wanted to talk to you about was the gal that created IT Cosmetics. Her name is Jamie Marie Kern, and she is, well her last name is Lima now, um, after she married Pablo Lima, but she is an accomplished woman. She is an ex-beauty queen. She was raised in the uh, San Rafael, yeah, in San Rafael, California. She was born in 1977. After she graduated high school, she moved to Washington and um, attended Washington State University and graduated from there. She was Miss Washington USA in 1999 and then in 2000 she uh, ran for Miss USA and she didn't get that. Some gal from Tennessee got it, I believe, but um, Jamie actually went back and hosted the US Miss USA pageant in 2006, I believe it was. I remember watching it. I also remember when she won the uh, college contest for the Baywatch Babes and <laughs> and she was on an episode of Baywatch in the very first season and that it was that appearance that sparked her interest in makeup I discovered how much makeup is a part of a movie set because they came and sculpted all those girls as bodies you know from the foreheads all the way down to the feet the legs the arms you know the the side boob shots all of it was perfectly sculpted with makeup you know i mean obviously the girls are hot bods anyways but you know, that's what they did, and she just found that fascinating. Well, she she only did the one episode. There's pictures of her. If you look around the internet, you'll see pictures of her in the Babe Watch Red, or in the Bay, Babe Watch. That's what my dad always called it. In the Bay Watch um, shows, you know, the, the red swimming suit, the iconic red swimsuit, and she's leaning with her arms back, you know, and it almost doesn't even look like her. She looks so much different now. Her much more refined now, you know, m more refined and wiser. Well, anyways, so it was her it was her stint on Baywatch is when she started, you know, the gear started going about makeup. Well, she went on to apply for and was in the first season of the Big Brother reality show. I don't know if you guys ever watched that, but my oldest daughter watched it, and I remember watching her I remember that being the only reason why I watched that stupid show, and I remember telling my daughter, the only reason why I watched this was for Jamie, because she was the last woman standing out of, you know, the catty women in the group. She was the last one standing, and the three guys that ended up going on with the show voted her off. So, you know, that kind of says something about a woman's character when you survive all these other women. Anyways. In 2004, she got her MBA from Columbia School of Business and um, became a field reporter for KN, KNDU, yeah, KNDU uh, news station out of Washington. While she was with KNDU, she actually was the reporter on the scene, live reporter on the scene, over in Vatican City when Pope John Paul II died. I think that's pretty neat. I mean, think about it. What, what kind of an accomplishment is that to be? And she would have been... Uh, you know what, 23, 24 or so at the time. So yeah, I mean she's by by the time most of us were just barely coming into our, ourselves. At, at that age, I was still a complete turd. I mean, I knew what I wanted to be, and I was going somewhere with it, but I was still a turd. <laughs> I I really was. I'm, my dad would have more colorful words to, <laughs> if he was still alive. And she's just an accomplished news reporter, and then in, um, I believe it was 2000, 2006, she um, moved to Portland, Oregon, and signed on with KPTV news station, and worked with them for quite some time until uh, IT Cosmetics was launched in 2008, and in that very same year, she got the uh, Red Book MVP award which is most valuable product of the year for one of the very first things she put out was uh, smoking hot legs sculpting palette or sculpting uh, products and it was directly you know directly um, brainchild off of her times you know her days on Baywatch now the thing with Jamie is and I feel I know I talk like I know her personally and I kind of do because I've followed her 
not intentionally, I have just always liked her. You know, before she started making com cosmetics, I had watched her on TV and I knew who she was. So, you know, when she started making cosmetics, I was on that like white on rice because she has got severe rosacea, okay, severe rosacea. She's got skin problems and, you know, bad skin problems. And it, she just, problems like that, you understand better than a lot of other people would that it, it doesn't matter how, how beautiful you are or how how anybody else sees you, if you don't feel that way, it just, you know, I mean, you have got to feel good about yourself and feel beautiful with yourself to project that out. And it, it doesn't matter how good looking somebody is, if they've got a bad attitude or is always down on themselves, you know, people aren't going to see that beauty because it, it gets masked by, um, you know, by the negativeness. And she created um, IT Cosmetics with not only beauty in mind but skin care and all of her products are made to um, actually help your skin like um, with antioxidants and peptides and hydrolytes collagen and hyaluronic acid and and um, you know t just tons of different stuff I could sit here you know I memorize this stuff I research and memorize for what I'm gonna say for these videos but there are so many goodies in the products of hers that there's no way I could memorize it all I would have to read it off of a sheet to you and it would just be easier for me to put a link down below so you guys can all read it yourself okay so there's a little bit of history in you know how this cosmetic line was started. I've been using IT Cosmetics products since 2008 since they launched and I am an absolute avid fan of theirs and if I wouldn't have been so busy in my career when YouTube launched I would have been one of the first people on YouTube and probably with the first products or the first IT stuff that anybody had ever seen. I don't I can't even tell you how many clients I have turned on to IT Cosmetics. <laughs> I mean, they'd come in the next time I'd see them, you know, guess what I got, Julie, look at what I got. I mean, all excited, you know, because they've made a IT haul and how much they're loving it. And and I wish you could be some kind of a brand partner, you know, like a partner like you are on YouTube when you sell enough of a, of a certain line's products for them. <laughs> Anyways, so that's a little bit of a rundown of the, you know, where the company came from, how the seed got started. And it got started from a gal that had a good head on her shoulders, but bad skin on her body. And she put two and two together and created this beautiful, beautiful makeup line that is made for young and old, but works really, really well on mature skin. So let me just show you a few of the products that I have. And I did want to tell you, I'm not going to go over everything, but... I wanted to show you this today's special value. It's the last one that QVC had. They do still have it on there, but it's at regular price. It's like $72 plus shipping, so a total of $80. Bucks. But it's still a smoking deal at that cost. Okay, The ITCC cream costs $38. Now, I'm, looking, I'm using this little book for reference that I got in my last beauty test tube. See? Look at that. How handy, huh? I didn't think this would ever come in handy for anything but to look through to see what I wanted, but, you know. Uh, the CC cream cost $38, yeah, $38, $38 for 1.08 fluid ounces, okay. This is 2.53 fluid ounces, so technically this is $80, $95 worth of BB cream, or CC cream, right here. Okay, that's that alone. And then the Tightline Mascara... I believe that was $24, did I see in here? It's $24 for the Tightline Mascara. So that's $95.24 right there, okay? And then you got a beautiful lippy, and I just love this. It is their new, their new color, their new uh, formula, and this is $24. Uh, you get pretty, you get a pretty good amount. I can't see it, and it's not in the book yet. It's that new, but it's a pretty good amount, you know, pretty good size. And it's just totally, just like the IT motto, your lips but better. You know, that's what the IT cosmetics motto is, your skin but better. And that's truly what it is. $24 for this. So you got these three items. Now we're up to, what, $140? And then you got this gorgeous paddle brush. Now, I know everybody's like, a paddle brush, but this one's different. <laughs> and I actually do use this to apply the product. Beautiful, beautiful.
wonderful CC cream. I have been through so many. I actually have a video made uh, when I was waiting for a color that I could use to come in on this today's special value. I bought a bunch of different ones and I made a video on comparing drugstore, you know, CC creams. And although there were a couple of them that I would absolutely wear and get by with, it's just not, it's just not my IT. This stuff sets up to a a, a matte with a little bit of a dewy finish. You do not need to use powder with it. You don't have to set it. Now, if you use a primer or a moisturizer under it, you might you might have to because it leaves it a little bit tacky because this has already got your moisturizers and your primers along with a host of other goodness. When you, if you decide to get this and get it home, you know, experiment with it and give it a whirl and see what works best for you. But the coverage on this is unbelievable. I mean, I've got, you know, you can kind of see them a little bit because I didn't go back over them with, uh, I don't know, can you see it? Yeah, I think you can, actually. Um, I've, this, I've had this on for 12, 12 hours now. Yeah, 12 hours now. And it's not, I wouldn't say that it's wearing off, but I don't think there's anything you're going to put on your face that's going to last indefinitely. And 12 hours of working outside and running in town and running errands, and it's just a gorgeous wearing product. When I take this off of my face, I feel like, like I want to put it back on. I mean, literally. Anytime I take my makeup off with any other brand, and I'm not just saying this to, to you know, pump this company up because I purchased all this stuff myself. Uh, I don't have any kind of relationship with IT Cosmetic. The only thing that I have is just an absolute love and trust of everything that they put out. If you're on the fence with um, trying the IT line out and you've never tried it out, and I'm not saying they'll do this because I don't really know, but if you contact the company, um, ask them if they have any kind of samples they can send you. They do have little uh, they do have the CC creams in little one-use samples. They have little itty-bitty samples of the Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, send them an email and ask them if they have a little sample bag that they can send you to see if your, you know, their products will work for you. So, let me tell you about a few of the things that I have, and then I'm going to close this out, okay? This Today's Special Value uh, that was on a few weeks ago, like I said before, it costs 72 now. It's going to be about 80 with shipping, but... With everything that you're getting, which is the CC cream, the Tightline Mascara, <clears throat> the beautiful paddle brush, and this is real chrome. Well, not chrome, but it's real metal, too. It's not plastic. And uh, your lippy, it's almost $200. So you're getting the entire kit for less than what this ginormous bottle of CC cream would cost you. Um, I will put that link down below fantastic deal okay bye bye under eye on the IT website it costs $24 and it is 0.28 fluid ounces okay which is a ridiculous amount of this stuff you guys you need the tiniest bit and I am not exaggerating when I tell you that is how much you need can you even see it on my hand I mean it just spreads out let's take this down to the let's say there's two eyes here I mean, yeah, that didn't work, but <laughs> it just spreads out. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't know anybody who has not learned how to use it that doesn't rave about it. Anyways, if you go on the IT website, this product is $24. If you go on to QVC, you will pay $29, and you will also get this double-ended brush. Beautiful little brush. It's got, now mine is broken. You see, it's got this little sheath that, that lifts up and down to protect the brush when you put the cap on. And this isn't supposed to come off, but mine does. And anyways, you get this brush, and this is for, you know, for blending it all around your eyes. Super, super soft, just like all their brushes. And then the other end is the exact same uh, cruelty-free vegan bristles. And, that's, and you get that brush with them. Now, this brush alone is $24. But if you go over to QVC to get the Bye Bye Pour, or the Bye Bye Under Eye, you get this and the brush for $4, $5 more than you would have. And you're going to have shipping on, on um, the IT website as well. So, um, where is it? There it is. The Airbrushed Illuminizer. 
Okay, now the, I actually have this product basically in two, in a compact and in the powder. But this is H. This is um bye bye pour HD powder, but with the aluminizer in it, and this is the Hello Light aluminizer. Now this is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay, that's what's in the compact, and then in my little tub here, it is obviously a powder, and. See, basically, it's the same thing. There's This is a little bit lighter, and it's not quite as concentrate. But it's the same product. If you go to the IT Cosmetics website and get this, it is $24. If you go over to QVC, it's going to cost you $38.25, but you get the wand ball brush, which is just, oh, mm, mm, mm. If you go to buy this brush separately, it's going to cost you $48 on IT or on QVC. This brush costs 48 bucks so it is just brainless to not get you know your products from QVC if they have them because they almost always have a brush with it okay so let's talk about the bye bye pores beautiful product if you were to go at the IT website and get it it would cost you $24 okay if you head over to QVC you get this product and this beautiful luxe brush for $38.25 yeah, this brush is $48 on the QVC or the IT website. Either where you go, that's how much this brush is going to cost you. But, bye bye pour, you're going to pay, you know, like I said, uh, about $15 more and you get the beautiful brush with it. So, it's really just a no-brainer. <laughs> okay? Hello Light Powder. $24 this is going to cost you on the IT website. If you go over to... QVC, you will pay $35, so that's only $11 more, and you get the, they're calling this an angled cheek brush, I believe, but it's just a, you know, crimped little flat, beautiful for cheek, perfect for putting on, uh, you know, an illuminizer or a highlight, perfect. Now, if you get the uh, Celebration Foundation on the IT website, it is going to run $4, I believe. Let me look, yep, $35. Okay, but if you go over to QVC and grab it, it will cost you $43.50 and you get this gorgeous, either way you look at it, if you go over to QVC to get your products, you're going to get a brush with it almost all the time. So, I, you know, except for mascara and lippies, obviously. So I would definitely, if you are thinking about getting any of these products, go over to QVC and, and check out what they have first. You know, compare your prices, bring two browsers up, and have IT on one and QVC on the other, and see where you want to spend your money. You might get a better deal and be able to collect these gorgeous brushes. Uh, two more things, and then I am finished with you guys. The Feel the Moment Primer and the Number 50 Primer. These are my absolute must not ever go without as long as I am walking this earth and breathing in air, I will use these products. I cannot tell you enough good things about these. I have four backup of three backups of this one and two of these. They are just gorgeous. This is the one that they give you. Um, well, it was a today's special value last year sometime, but you got a bottle of this with the kit that came with the uh, powder foundation, and this is the primer they give you to use before you apply your powder. It is the most hydrating stuff that I, oh my gosh. Now, for time purposes of this video, I'm not going to get into deep discussion about it, but what I will do is link Emily Noel 83 has an excellent review on it and I will link her channel down below for this particular product and you can go find out and see what it is all about. Uh, it costs $38 on the IT website. It's a couple dollars cheaper over at QVC but you don't get any kind of perks, no brushes or anything like that. And then the number 50 serum, this cost $48. <laughs> Ouch. It is packed full of everything you could possibly want on your face. Now Paula's Choice has a review up bashing these two products and the BB cream or and the CZ cream and everything else of, of IT Cosmetics saying that they claim to have all these good things in them but there's so much stuff in there something's got to give somewhere and there's not enough of anything to make a difference but then she goes on to say that the few essential oils that are in these are so critically irritating to the skin that 
um, you know, they give them like one, one star because they're just so bad for the skin. Well, because of those essential oils. Well, for one thing, anybody is going to be, you know, skin sensitive to just about anything on the planet. If someone is always going to have a sensitivity to anything in any product. So, for her to say that, you know, there's going to be people that are going to be skin sensitive to those oils. Well, okay. Yeah, what's your point, you know? But, even more importantly, is or more ridiculously, while she says that all the goodness in these is so minuscule because of ingredients, no one particular ingredient can have enough of it in there to do anything to the skin, well then, wouldn't that hold true with the essential oils that are in here too? Right? I mean, why why does the minuscule amounts of essential oils going to make your years old and fall off overnight when the goodies in here aren't going to do a dang thing, bit of good for you? You see what I'm saying? It makes no sense. It's completely contradictory. And clearly, somebody who wrote those reviews on the IT line has a grudge or something somewhere because, or they have never used these products. That's all I can say to that. They must not have used it. Um, you know, and I'm not talking just a one time, two time, three time, or even a couple weeks use and say, oh yeah, this is nice. I've been using these products since 2008, and I can attest to how much better they've made my skin. I can, you know, I can absolutely witness to the, the beneficial, you know, properties that this stuff has in it, and what it has done for my skin. So, to Paula's choice. Although on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty they just got off with, I think it was their 20th day of beauty. Uh, these little puppies were on sale down at Ulta for 20 bucks, and I went down there and wiped the shelf off. <laughs> they only had four, so that was kind of sad, or I would have grabbed them all, I swear. I would have put hundreds down on it. That's how much I love it. Fills your pores, super hydrating. Um, I put, when I'm not wearing the, beef, the CC cream, because I don't use any of these, when I'm not wearing the CC cream, I put on a layer of this, very thin, you only need like a pea size will cover your whole face. And then I will go in with this and I will dab just a small, like a third of what I used here and I will dab it under my eyes and rub it in. And I could pack 20 layers of powder under my eyes and it will not look cakey. I don't know what this stuff is. Well, I do know what it is. Um, it's everything good that you want on your skin. All of this stuff is. It's just a gorgeous line. And I can't wait for my friend Lynette, uh, Lindy's. Lindy McGee over at Lindy's Styles. I can't wait for her to try it because she had never had no clue. And we were having a text fest the other night, and I told her, "Girl, you gotta go over and get you some." So she went on the QVC website and ordered this today special value. So I can't wait for her to get that. Okay, you guys, that is all. I hope I gave you a little bit of an, a scattered insight into, you know, the IT line and where it was founded from. I mean, I'm sure you can look on here and find gazillions of different you know reviews and um, information and I will put a bunch of links down below just so that I didn't pack this video into a 40 minute one you know and you guys can go look at these links at your own leisure and see what these products uh, you know like Angie has when she does reviews on one product she does very comprehensive uh, you know very very good reviews and so I'm going to link a couple of hers down there to some of these products uh, I will link Emily Noel's of the Field Moment Primer down below, and I will put a couple uh, a couple links on like the IT site and the the direct link through QVC to the IT um, product products that they have. Whoo! I love you all so much. If you have not subscribed already, please do so. And okay, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.